There is a subtle shift in the air as I breathe in this morning. Something crisp and fresh, a reminder that summer is coming to its end. The strong morning dew is shining in the sunlight, a visual cue that the nights are getting colder day by day, but the days are still warm and bright. I know I say that a lot, but it's a wonderful time of the year. Soon enough, the leaves will turn to the most vivid colors before they return back to Mama Earth. Maybe this shift of season sparked again the flame of travels that lives in both my own and Remy's heart, but we decided that it was about time to take out our teardrop camper for a little trip. But before that, we had to fix the little damages that occurred during our last big trip, which was about 20,000 kilometers across Canada during the harshest time of winter. We thought it would be a good occasion to show you what went wrong with this ambitious build. Hello! There's a reason why the teardrop is behind me. We have a little surprise coming out soon and I will try to fix it up. The thing is, we made maybe 20,000 kilometers with it in winter, so there's some issue that we will try to fix. You know winter is pretty bad for camper, car or everything. First thing to do is to make a list with all the little things that will need improvement. Here the list. Basically, traveling in the winter is not so a good idea for the equipment. We need to change some parts and make some improvement to keep it safe and waterproof. The first problem is the rust. In our uh, four month trip, we were in uh, the Canadian winter and it was pretty cold and the road was snowy and salty, very cold and wet, so it didn't give a very good chance. So we need to paint all the frame again. The next one is the tire spare. It was bolted below the teardrop in the back but uh, the bolt just snapped and the wheel just fall on the ground and we were lucky because it just happened in a parking but if it was on the highway my god all the hinges is so rusty it's not a big problem but <laughs> my stepdaughter just go inside the teardrop last week and she decided that she wanted to open the windows and the result it just snapped because the hinges are just seized in rust. The same thing happened with the door handle. It's just completely seized with rust. Who cares? It's a cheap one, like 10 bucks. The back holds up pretty well. I'm pretty surprised. I was kind of worried because it's the first time that we are doing that kind of stuff. Two things we need to work out there. First one. In the last day of our trip, one of the gas trusts just break a whisk. And the second thing, there's a little bit of moisture problem. That kind of hinges, it's a, called a hurricane hinges. It's specially made for teardrop. The first part is this, and the second one, it's there. So if water come there, the water should drip there and slide all the way down. Some water find a way to go in there. The problem is there. The problem is coming from that side and not that side because inside there it's dry and there it's all wet. It's raining a little bit last night so I'm pretty impressed with all the dirt road and everything. Everything is still well fixed and still functioning good. Yeah, at least that part don't need any change. <laughs> Do you want rice? <laughs> All the windows frame. No sign of water coming in. I'm pretty impressed with the door situation because the part that I was more scared about because it's on the side, it's a pretty big opening. No sign of water coming in. Except in the bottom there. 
water was coming in the camper in a special situation like when it was pouring rain on the highway i don't know how but the water find a way to come in and the floor become wet but it's not by the seal because i put another seal and it didn't fix the problem i don't know maybe there's a little crack somewhere and the water just come in very slowly because it's not a big leak wow easy if you live somewhere where there's no salt in the road or just no winter you don't know how you are lucky salt just ruin everything it's not like if we lived in the winter with this teardrop during like three years only four months crazy look at this rust rust everywhere this part is still good do you think uh, i should change it or keep it i don't know maybe i should just put everything new ah uh, yeah the inside is perfect no water come in by the fan no water come in by the windows even in the back where um, in the kitchen it's all wet and moisty here it's dry and perfect there is some air coming out but no heat yet look at this oh it's so beautiful in here heat coming in heat coming in nice warm air it's good to know that it still work for the late summer or the winter coming in overall I'm pretty impressed with what we built it's all up pretty good it's only like small adjustment and the teardrop will be new brand new Lately, I've been working a lot on art commission, and in between two layers of oil paint, I was able to revamp the door and window to refresh and reseal them, and even had fun adding antique gold accent to it, just to keep the bohemian look we really liked for the camper. Now it's the time to repaint the frame. First time we put a black paint, but now I don't know why there's no more black paint in town. A brown? I don't know. Maybe it, it will turn good, but... Yeah, what do you think? Oh, it's like a dark ch chocolate. Huh. It's a style. <laughs> I'm not too sure about this color. I don't know. It can be, it can give a old school look, but you know, like the old Dodge caravan with the wood outside. This bracket, it's not strong enough. I mean, it's thick enough, but in her trip, he, this bracket was just a ripping off of the rear latch. I will add a metal piece there.
Yeah, the kitchen is all done. The problem here is I tried to seal this part but water come in somewhere so I just bought this little uh, aluminum crane that I will put on top of all the screw so it's gonna be easier to just seal the top and the bottom. Are you ready? Yes and no. The doors aren't dry. What we need to do before leaving? Um, I need to dry out my hair <laughs> and uh, set up the camper because now it's a mess in there and then we're going. <laughs> Are you excited? <laughs> then putting back uh, the door and the ah. windows together, <laughs> then <Jesus>. cleaning, cleaning <laughs> up the truck, then organizing the kitchen because then nothing there. Making Details. a lunch. Details. Okay. <laughs> I just want to make the bed. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part. Yes. Take this one. Wow. Ah. Even if the door is not completely dry, I will take a chance and install the doorknob. I'm not sure that I want to do this, but maybe it's a good idea if I check the bearing. Dirty job. Oh, we're all set, ready to go. At least it's a small camper. <laughs> I should train you as my draft horse. <laughs> Are you excited? Oui! Yay! Summer is always hectic and busy for us, but we decided to take this little weekend holiday just to break free of the demanding work routine we are in right now and get some inspiration back by attending El Campo, which is the largest van travelers festival in Canada. It is host by Govan, which is an online platform made for both part-time and full-time travelers. They host many events and provide awesome tools and content for van life enthusiasts all over the country. You can go and check them out, we will leave the link to their website down below. For us living so remotely and keeping ourselves busy all the time, 
It can be easy to isolate ourselves from the outside world at times without realizing it. But truly, there is something so nourishing about human connections, and especially when meeting up with like-minded people that are also passionate about their unique lifestyles and choices. This is fuel for the soul, and it made us want to explore more and keep this beautiful balance between having strong roots at home and spreading our wings to discover the marvels of the world. Bonsoir tout le monde, bienvenue à El Campo! Hope you are always learning, always exploring, and that in your journey you discover all the beauty that exists out there, but also within you and each person you encounter. Have a wonderful week, my loves. See you soon.